Ah, so third session, five minutes, what to learn? I think we should learn true or false, white or black. So we continue with the UV and I separate it so it's easy to see. So shift A, converter, and then we have uh, separate X, Y, Z. Put it in UV and it looks like this. Now we are only talking about white and black and how to make it true or false. So one way is to press shift A and then go to math again. And here you have the title here that is called comparison. So most of the things down here is comparing numbers or all is comparing numbers, but most of them also give like only white or black. So we skip minimum and maximum for the moment, but we use the less than, the greater than, the sign and the compare in this chapter. So less than, I put that in here. Now you can see we get white here and we get black here. So this is one and this is zero. So that means that everything that is less than 0 0.5, it's true. That is true because if you take 0 0.4, is that less than 0 0.5? Yes, it is. So if you can say yes, it is in this, then it's true. And true gives white out. So here is white. All these numbers here are less than 0 0.5. If I change this, you can see it changes here as well. Okay. The same is with greater than. Greater than means that everything that is greater than this number will be true, will be white. The rest will be black. So greater than is this and the less than is the other side, so to say. You can of course combine these two. So you have it like this. And say that if it's less than 0 0.4, and it's greater than 0 0.3 or 2. Then you can then put them together. So con uh, converter, math, and use like a multiply here. Then you can see that this little part here is the only part that is true because that part is less than 0 0.4, but it's bigger than 0 0.3. So by combining these in this way, you can then get a small portion out of everything here. So let's go back, take away this, take away that. And instead we go to sign. Sign, just give everything white. Why is that? Because positive numbers will give true. Negative numbers will get black. So if I put in a subtract here, shift A, Converter, math, and a subtract. You can see now that everything that is black here, that is a negative number. And everything that is white is a positive number. That is what sign is. So you can use that if you just want white and black depending on positive or negative. The last one we should use here is the one that is called compare which we used before and the compare is comparing the value that comes here with the value that is here if they are equal to what we put here then we get white but we also have the range here so it can differ the amount that says in the epsilon here so that means that 0.1 and 0.2 and 0.3 in this case is true. So if I put this to 0.4, you can see that 0 up to 0.5 is true here because 0.1 is true, of course, because they're equal. 0.2 it's equal because it's inside this range. 0.5 that is equal because it's 0.1 added 0 0.4 so it's still in this range still equal if we go outside it's black so that is how compare nodes work 
And that was these five minutes, and now you know all there is to know about true or false. Bye for now.